paint my phone case. As you can see, I already tried it. Give you a little bit closer look. I did not get the right type of clear coat, so I didn't put any on there, and it did start to rub off. Now, first things first, I have to take this paint off. And you might be wondering, how do you take spray paint off easily without having to go buy a paint thinner or turpentine or anything like that? Because at the moment, we don't have any. So, best thing to do is get a small bowl. I usually get a plastic bowl because in case you ruin it, you just want to have a crappy bowl. And a, a scotch Brite sponge, pretty rough down here, and some nail polish remover. So, take the nail polish remover, you know, you dump some in there, and it's going to... It's gonna take a little bit of scrubbing, but it definitely beats having to run to the store and buy some paint thinner or whatnot. So I will sit here and scrub it. And you can see it comes off fairly easy. Just depends. There's some spots you have to scrub really hard. Some spots that will just rub right off. I'll get back to you when I'm done with this. I'll probably speed this up so you can slowly see me get through it. But you know, it's not that hard. It's a lot easier than, as I said, going and buying a turpentine and having to drive all the way into a store to get it. This you should, probably should have at your house. If not, it's not hard to get a hold of. You can find it about anywhere, and it's very, very simple. So I'll get back to you once I'm done with this, and I'll get on with the rest of the video. All right, so there we go. There's the finished product. I'm going to stress that you don't really, you don't need to get all the paint off. It doesn't matter so much for me because I'm going to be painting it the same colors as I did before, which is silver and, and, and purple. I'm going to put a little bit of white in the middle, but fortunately there's not much paint in there. I'm going to warn you real quick, if you can see right there, and right there, there's two small cracks. And if this is really thin plastic, which this is, and you're using nail polish remover, it will make it brittle. And I, unfortunately, I did that. So just be careful with your plastic and definitely wash all this stuff off it once you're done so it doesn't get in the way of the paint. But I'm going to go fix these cracks real quick and get it all cleaned up with some water and whatnot. And I'll get back with you with the painting part of the video. So I got it all cleaned up. You know, I basically just washed off all the stuff I could. And I took a little bit of, what is this stuff called? It is called Clear Transparent Paintable Industrial Strength Adhesive. You see it right here. And I basically just filled in the cracks and kind of rubbed it around the crack to help fill it in and keep it, you know, stabilized. Keep it strong as if, if I can. And this stuff is paintable, so I will be able to paint over it. And that's why I kind of chose this stuff. So if you get anything to fill in a crack, I would definitely make sure, like read the label and make sure that it is paintable or else it might repel the paint. And if you, oh, wow. If you look right here, <laughs> I had a bunch of nail polish in this bowl and it actually like, melted through the bowl and made it soft and it stuck to the newspaper so I'm gonna leave that there but we'll get into this and one more I'm gonna stress two points right here I have this paint right here and as you see it's all got the same same brand same label and whatnot every everyone's the same same brand so it's it's important that you keep all your paints within the same brand you, I've tried mixing brands before Oil-based, water-based, it never mix those. Let's say I were to throw this in there too, it might not work. If I throw some Rust-Oleum in there, I know this does not work, it makes the paint crack. So definitely keep the same brand. And when you're spray painting indoors as I am, make sure you have a good ventilation. I have some windows open so I'll be good, but it can turn into a bad scenario. If you turn out, you know, if you do a bunch of spray painting and other chemicals such as this nail polish remover, and you have windows closed, it could be bad for your health and whatnot, so be sure of that. Now, the first time I painted this, I did tape off the black parts, but after, you know, rubbing paint off with that sponge, it got paint everywhere all over it, so I'm just gonna paint all of it right now and see how that turns out. And before, I only did two colors, and this time I'm going to experiment with three and kind of do a fade. I've gotten a little bit better with spray paint, so I'll see how that goes. I'm gonna start off by putting the purple on. Make sure you shake your paint well, or. You know, this doesn't look as good. I'm going to start off with purple. On the first third of it or so, I'll do the middle white and the bottom half of this chrome silver color. And it looks really good when it's, you know, when it's put down. So, I must stress that you, like, take a minute. I already did it, but get a brush or something and, you know, brush off any anything that might get in the way of the paint sticking to the plastic. Or else it'll just come off super easy. So I'm going to get into this and we'll we'll see what happens. Oh, 
All right, there's the first layer of purple. I'll get a closer view here in a second. I'm gonna make sure I got everything covered. I'm definitely gonna do at least two layers of each color just to make sure it gets on there. If you, when, when I get a close up, you'll see it. You can still see the orange of the original case through it. So that's why I'm gonna do at least two layers just to make sure that that, you know, doesn't show through and it gets a good solid coat on there. So I'm gonna make sure, I'll give it one more quick little spray right now. Let it dry for 10 or 15 minutes, come back and do another coat of purple, let that dry, come back and do another coat of white or so, and until I get all the colors I want on there. So I'll give it one quick spray, give you guys a look, then I'll, you know, let it dry. Alrighty here. Sorry for the camera delay, but there's the up close shot. You can't see it too well through the camera, but you can see along the top of the case, you do see orange coming through. And of course this black, it's going to remain a darker color, but I didn't want to waste the time to tape it off. I kind of just wanted to get this done so I could put this back on my phone. And, you know, it, it, it looks pretty good all around. I'm trying not to get any dripping places. Once I get the second coat on, I'm actually going to hang it up from, from here. I'll show you right here. I just have an old bungee cord where I can hook it through the case. And it hangs like so. Let's see if we can hang it on there without the... There we go. And it hangs just like that. And that helps it dry a little bit better. Nothing really land on it like that. Like that. I'm going to let it dry there for just a second. I'll come back, get my second coat on, and then do a different color. <laughs> There's that. I already put my second layer on this. As you can see, it's a lot, lot thicker. You can't see any of the background colors. Actually the black even came out pretty well. I also did paint the front a little bit so you could see it as I'm looking at my phone and on the back of the phone as well. This still is a little bit wet but since I'm doing this silver on the very back outside of it I can do it now. I shouldn't mess up any of it by because I'm not spreading towards the middle. I'm only doing this outside so I'm going to get this silver going so the process will go a little bit faster. And definitely make sure as I said before Shake up your paint. I've already shook this a little bit, so I'm not going to need to do it a whole lot, but well shaken paint is the best paint there is. Alright, there we go. So here we go. We'll get this going. Okay, that's not damp anymore. And I'm going to be really careful. I'd rather not get any silver in this purple while it's still a little bit wet, but if we do, we can always cover it up later. done with that purple so we can move it right out of the way but I definitely want to get the sides colored nice and nice and bright so I'm gonna do plenty of plenty of spray paint I'll bring the camera closer this paint actually goes on a lot better than that purple stuff did so as you can see it looks pretty clean right there I got it all the way around Nice and clean. I will hang it up in the same spot I hung it up before. I'll spray paint the front a little bit. I gotta be careful not to grab anything wet. Grabbing right in the middle there, as you can see. And we'll, we'll go right here. And it's still swinging a little bit, but so far that looks pretty decent. Both, both sides are painted. I haven't got the front silver yet, but I will do that. I did get that purple on the front. I'm gonna do the silver right now while I'm holding the camera and hopefully we can make it look good. I also got to get this the bottom of it too. I didn't get a whole lot of the bottom but you know what that looks pretty darn good for now. We'll let that dry. I'll still put a second coat on of this silver just to ensure that it, it's on there good and I didn't miss any place but I believe that looks pretty good. You can see the middle right there is still kind of orange but that is what this white right here is for. I'm gonna put some white right in the middle of that and blend it a little bit and see how it turns out. Hopefully it looks good. If so, I still am yet, or have yet to get any clear coat. I do have clear coat, but it is Rust-Oleum. And the last project I did with this paint, I put that on there and it totally ruined the paint job. So, as I stressed before, make sure you have the same brand, clear coat paint and everything or else it will not turn out. I'll come back to you when this is dry and I've got my second coat on and we'll get that white on. Alright, so I'll show you this up close. Got all my layers on the purple and the silver. It looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Got the front of it painted as well. Now right here, there's still a little bit of orange. That is what this white right here is for. 
I'm gonna like, fade it into the middle. Hopefully it works good, you know. If not, I can always cover it up with some purple and some silver, and it'll look just fine. But we're here to experiment. We're not here to be boring. So, well shaking can of paint as usual, and this is actually gonna work well. I don't know if you can see it too well through the camera, but I did get some silver on this purple right here, and that's right where I'm putting the white, so <laughs> it'll look better this way. I'm gonna start from a distance because I don't totally want to bombard it with, you know, a bunch of paint and just have it splatter. Oh, this can's almost out. I hope I have enough to finish. Oh, oh yeah, I'll be good. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to. I want to get the sides faded just like I have the back. So I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna tilt it to the side. And hopefully I can get it sprayed without messing anything else up. Alright, I'll show you this. I did miss a little bit with that white spray paint can. As you see, I have a little bit right here. Right up here that, you know... I got, I can fix that, that's an easy, easy fix, I also have a fingerprint right there. Easy fix, I can spray paint over it with purple, as soon as this dries in a few minutes. But if you look in the middle, I think that fade looks pretty good. I even got this side pretty well. You know, I'll hang it up, I'll give the white one more spray, just to make sure it's on the solid, then I'll fix any purple. I didn't get any of the silver messed up, I'll fix any of the purple I need to fix. And then after that, I mean, I can let it dry. I'm gonna let it dry for a few days. Because as I said, I experimented with this before, and I didn't let it dry long enough, and that made everything go crazy. So, you know, definitely, I need to experiment with some stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit more weight on the right now, and then I'll put some more on in 15 or 20 minutes, like I have the rest of the paint. Then I'll cover up that little mistake I made with the white on the purple with some more purple, and you know, all's gonna be good. So hopefully, this doesn't come out too strong. It came out really strong the first time. And you know what? That actually did pretty darn good. We'll leave it like that. We're going to hang it. And actually, i got to put a little bit more on. There's just one spot that won't get white on it. There we go. We're going to hang this right here like we have everything else. Let that dry up nice and good. Get a little bit more white on there. Then we'll finish it off with purple. And that will be the end of the video. So... I'll come back when this is all dry and I'm all done. I'll show you the final result. Quick little update on this. I did have a, here I'll tilt it so there's not so much shadow on it. But as you see, there's a little bit of spot right there. I had a drip of white paint and I had to wipe it off. I didn't want to drip anymore. So when I go to fix it up, which will be here in a few seconds, I'm going to actually have to use my silver again and just cover up that bottom layer right there. And just I'll just have a thin strip of white, which is what I wanted. And then... I can do the top layer again and get that repainted up. It won't take but five seconds for each color. Then I'll let it dry real quick and we will be all set. So we're gonna do it right now and we'll see how it turns out. Again, I'm keeping I'm keeping pretty good distance. I'm probably three or four feet away with the can just because I don't want to totally bombard it with paint. That's kind of what I do with the white, and that's why it started to drip. So we gotta be very, very gentle with her. There we go. That looks a lot better. You can still see that white in there. And then the drip spot, I might have to put a little more paint on it, kind of, you can see right about there-ish. It's got a little bit of drip mark, but nothing too major. I'm going to grab this purple out, and we're going to cover up the top and let it dry overnight. It is quite late, so I'm going to get this done about as fast as I can at the moment. And we'll see again. Keep good distance. I got a long ways away. And just be gentle with the paint. Don't, don't try to force it on there is what I'm trying to say. I, my real mistake was right here, as you can see, that whole side's white, so I gotta get some purple on there to help blend it some more. And this side looks pretty good, might as well put just a little bit more on that side. But overall, that looks a lot better. You know, I'll put a, oh, just a hair more on this side. But I am very happy with the result that came out this time. <laughs> that looks a lot better than last time. That fade, I, I like the fade. It looks. The first, actually, I, I painted it twice the first the first tries, 
and neither of them turned out very well. And I'm very happy to say I'm 100% pleased with this. Actually, I just saw another spot I can put a little more paint on. Definitely. Any other touch-ups, you know, I'm not going to put on video because it looks about as perfect as it needs to right now. I'll let it, you know, hang here and dry for, I want to say probably at least a day. I'll come back tomorrow night after I'm done working and come pick it up. See if I can't get some clear coat on it and, you know, make it look nice and fancy. But overall, that looks pretty darn good. We'll see, there's the top. I'll slowly show you guys the whole case. It fades from the white down to the silver. Down the very bottom of the silver. And the side has the same exact fade. Yeah, you go from the silver to the white to the purple. And this side has the exact same. It's kind of, the silver looks kind of white right now, but it's just because of the glare. And the front even has that fade too. So I'm very happy with this. I'm actually going to put on just a touch more silver now that it's kind of set. To cover up that little blemish right there. And if I need to, I could put more on in the future, but it's not a big deal. Alright, I'd say that'd do it for now. <laughs> Again, I've said this like four times, but I am pleased with that. Definitely, you guys can try this at your home. It is extremely easy. But if you're young, definitely get some parental supervision. I'm not going to be the guy that says go out and do whatever you want. If you're need, if you, if you quite young, I'd say under the age of like 14 or so, definitely get some parental supervision. And first of all, make, it, make sure it's okay with your parents. Like... You gotta, you gotta have some okay with it. My parents are totally fine with me doing this stuff, so I enjoy spray painting multiple things, from you know phone cases to Xbox controllers to anything. I enjoy doing this, and they're totally okay with it. But that's gonna wrap up the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe learn something from me. Maybe like the video. You can also go check out my last video. I did a thing called hydro dipping. You use spray paint, and it's a different way to spray paint, but it looks extremely cool. I hydro dipped my Xbox One controller. It was super simple. It took me about the course of maybe a day to do the whole thing, and then maybe about another day to let it dry and get clear coat on it, but it looked very cool. So guys, thanks for watching today. My last video got so many more views than I ever expected. At this moment, it's got almost 600 views. Of course, that is over the course of three months, actually four months, but that did so much better than I ever expected. I hope this one can do even better. Guys, thanks for watching. Definitely subscribe for some more content. I will try to get more content up now that I know that some people actually like my videos. And drop a like, too. That would mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching, though, and see you later.